Bennett Sano said, welcome to Letters and Music. Thank you so much. That was a very nice rendition of, uh, what's that title of the song again? Little Things by Little One Direction. Things, yes. And because you're here, uh, this is a very challenging episode for us. Because we've heard that, are, are you okay with speaking Tagalog or are you having a hard time with Tagalog? <laughs> I have a hard time speaking Okay, Tagalog. sir, kunin mo na yung tuwalya ko dyan. Medyo mm, sabog ilong ko dito. Buti na lang, nagbaon ako ng dictionary. Because, uh, you know, here in Letters and Music, we have a tradition. Yeah, when you're new, you treat everybody with a pizza and stuff like that. No, I'm just joking. You have to answer because you have a lot of... When a lot of... Uh, when you, we posted your uh, picture on our page... A lot of your fans were like asking question, personal question for you, because this is their chance to get to know you better. So yes. are you ready to to answer some of their questions? Yes, sure. Actually, it's uh, almost uh, a thousand questions. Wow! All of assignments, <laughs> all of their assignments are there. Personal issues in life, how to solve global warming. So of course okay. we cut those hard parts. We just chose the hardest for you. So are you ready? Okay. Yes, I'm very ready. So this is f one of uh, uh, this is from us. So how did you start your career in social media? Social media for me started about three years ago. Three years. Three years ago. So that was 2015, right? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Math is very hard. <laughs> Math is hard. <laughs> yeah, and um, I've, I've been singing since I was like very, very little. Like two years old? Or like... Probably my first words were probably a song, <laughs> but um, I, I I've been singing and acting until like my whole life, mm -hmm. and then my parents wanted to add dancing, mm -hmm. and so I took a few dance classes, mm -hmm. and then the choreographers were posting the videos, uh -huh. so then I posted the videos, okay. and then that's when YouTube for me started, and I started posting my singing stuff mm -hmm. and my dancing stuff, and then you know it just. But have you, is this really your like dream or path that you want to take? Yes, 100%. This right. is, I'm living my dream right now. Oh, really? So uh, did you see yourself, like, uh, if I do this, like, posting your first video? Were you sure that you're going to be a trending in YouTube? Honestly, I, I was so young that, like, I had no idea. My dad was just like, yeah, okay, just sing. Process, yeah. Like, I'm going to just videotape you, and you, you do what you love, and, and, you, and then he was the one who just... Posted everything, and so I thank him so much for that. Since then, how was your life? How did it change? Dude? It's it's been crazy, you know. It's been such a blessing, and and um, you know, I just I was also playing basketball, going to school, mm -hmm. and now you know. All your classmates are like, "Hey, man, I watch <laughs> you on YouTube." Yeah, so it's, it's, like it's been amazing. And of course, we are very thankful that you are here on Letters and Music. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure for us. That's why we have another question for you. This is not from your fans. This is a personal question for Kuya Kuya Cesar. Okay. Yeah. This is when he the scriptwriter, whatever. <laughs> so he said, "What videos do you share in your social media page?" So besides dancing, the, what kind of videos do you um, post? I would post like um, on my social media lately. I've been filming vlogs. I'm actually uh -huh. vlogging this right now. And oh really? Yes. Hello. And, <laughs> <laughs> and um, so I post vlogs about my life because you know I want my fans to to get to know the You'll real know me. You know you better, yeah. And so I post like things that I do my personality and I also post singing covers mm -hmm. which like this one that you see right now this was a singing cover oh really I thought yes. it was a basketball vlog <laughs> <laughs> and um I put yeah and dance covers with AC oh wow AC I know yes. AC personally yes yeah. yes yes and wow and you're really good at it huh? thank you so much I appreciate it I wish it. I could dance oh, I you could, can I could I could if I if you if you peel at me but of course <laughs> don't yeah don't peel at me today because I'm not wearing my dancing outfit. Okay. And then the third question. Let's talk about your talent in dancing. When did you start dancing? So you said earlier that you attended some workshops, right? Yes. I started attending some a few dance workshops when I was about like late 12 years old. Late 12 late years, 12 that's years right, old. That's right. Around 12 minutes, Almost. something like that. <laughs> Almost 13. And then... So I started taking dance classes with um, like people like Matt Stefanina, who are wow. huge mm -hmm. influencers in the world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so that was such a huge door for me to understand the whole dance world. And then, But before that, before you've entered uh, dancing workshops, were you dancing before? 
I was like a little bit like when I used to sing, I would like you know do like a little Popping, a yeah. little move or something, but yeah. like nothing nothing major until my. So is there is still hope for people that wants. Of to try course, dance. there's always hope. Andy, are you ready? <laughs> you will dance later, huh? Especially Davy Langit is very yeah. good at dancing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, here's another question: Who teach to you? So you uh, you have a. Uh, you thought people thought you how to dance how mm -hmm. about singing um so my dad is actually a professional singer he wow. was here in the philippines he's born and raised here and then he moved to america oh your dad your dad is a filipino yes my For both my parents are oh both your yes, parents are I'm filipino full. i'm just i was just born you're full in, did, in you eat? did you eat did you eat so you're full filipino yes, yes you're not like uh what do you call that uh half no, american no, no. i'm i'm full filipino really? in the blood so where are your parents from my mom is from Davao, and oh. my dad is from Bacolod. Okay. Yeah. Have, have you, so this is not your first time here in the Philippines? No. I've been here, I think this is like my fifth time? Fifth, fifth, time. fifth time. But this is your but first time. But this is time. my first time mm -hmm. doing stuff like this right. here in the Philippines. So, so uh, I'm sure there's going to be more of that here in the Philippines. Thank you so much. And you're going to be back here for more because here are the questions from your fans that they are really uh, crazy about. Questions for you. This is personal issues, or are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Personal issues. So, <laughs> unahin na natin ang katanong ni DJ Okariza. Okariza. Yung mga arte talaga yung pagsasalita ako kapag English yung pinagbulang kong salita. Okariza. Okariza ata. What is the most, what is the most failure in his life in the way? So, probably this question is, what's the most uh, f failing stuff that happened to you? Like, like a uh, super, what do you call that? Nakakaya ang English. Translate. Embarrassing. Embarrassing, that's it. Um, That's really hard, yeah. actually. That you will never forget. And what happened? See, I told you it's personal no, issues, man. this is man. hard. This is 100% hard. Mm -hmm. Um, The most embarrassing thing that happened to you. Probably before you entered the sh social media industry. Yes, or of course. Or you want... Uh, while doing the social media industry. Okay, well, this might not be embarrassing to, to you guys, so, yeah. but to me, mm -hmm. like, once I realized what I was doing, when I was in um, f fourth grade, when I was fourth in grade. fourth grade, okay. I transferred elementary schools, and there was an election going on. Okay. And I thought, in the know, school, in the school. Yes, in yeah, the school, school. Election going on to be, like, Secretary, treasurer, president, yeah. vice president, president, okay. and I thought, you know, hey, why don't I, why don't I um, try? Try. To, uh, why yeah. don't I try? So I tried out for treasurer, and I was I was so hyped about it. I made posters. I put them up on the. But walls. you don't know anybody there. No, yeah. I didn't know anybody, but I was so confident. <laughs> and and when I was voting, I I was listening to my friends. Well, I thought they were my friends, but I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to them, and they were like, Yeah, Who, who's Kenneth? When they were looking at the poster, <laughs> <laughs> and then I realized I was like, "Yeah, this isn't well, gonna work you out." Encourage to do that. <laughs> Why? It was just my own ambition. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to be a treasurer? I wanted your, to be. That is your ultimate dream. Not a dancer, <laughs> not a singer, but a treasurer in your school. Yes. All right. Here's another question from Rafa Dana Sofia Omania. Ayan ang haba ng pangalan niya, no? Who's your big inspiration when it comes to dancing? Hashtag Letters in Music. Um, my biggest inspiration yeah. when I dance. It's probably your, f let's say your idol when it comes my to dancing. My favorite dancer. Yeah. Um, probably my mentors who mentor me right now, which mm -hmm. is, um, of course, Matt Stefanina, mm -hmm. who's been a huge influence in my dance career. Uh -huh. And also CJ Salvador and Alexander Chung, who have like taken me and just mashed me up and made me into like a dancing the style, machine the oh. style i am right now <laughs> yes so how is it working with them is it pressure it's the it, pressure it's scary mm -hmm. it's definitely scary to um you know because i want to be the best i can for them and make them proud yeah and it's also like the most amazing experience seeing s being able to see how they like live and and being able to just be inspired by the you know their presence and yeah. it, it it really um 
makes me grow as yeah. like a dancer. And you're still young. Yes. How old yes. are you again? I'm 15. 15? 15 ako. I'm just learning to walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now you're dancing now. I'm just like practicing my balance. <laughs> and here's another question from Nila Jr. Ogyoboresemila. Ang hirap talaga ng mga apelido rito. What can he say about his fans here in the Philippines? Actually, there are a lot of people, a lot of your fans were like asking, can we go to the show today? Oh, wow. Yeah, there's like 50,000. So Whoa. Like, yeah. But of course, we can accommodate seats. Of course. Super maliet here. <laughs> but then, yeah, they really want to come. They come from uh, Philipp- so Philippines. Bulacan, they came from Bulacan, to Pampanga, La Union, wow. stuff like that. So what can you say about what's your message for them? Um, I just want to tell all my fans out there, like... Th- <laughs> How does it feel to have a fan? Like, you it, know, that kind of... It's the most amazing thing ever to, to know that, you know, you guys are watching me and, and letting me be able to do what I love. Mm-hmm. And, um, and you, you help me, you push me. You guys are my inspiration. What do you call your fans? What do you call themselves? Kenneth Znatic, something I like that? haven't like actually. <laughs> they have like a fan page that they call themselves. Um, there, there's lots of different fan clubs that I've seen. There's like KPS Juniors, mm-hmm. or I'm sorry. Yeah, no. KPSJ, KPSJ oh, poor letters lang, no? KPSJ, yeah, my parang, initials. Oh, uh, yeah. KPSJ Philippines, K- KPSJ. KPS, ano pa? War- uh, ba? Warriors? Warriors. So you have a basketball team now, yes. huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so here's another question from Kali Yamsen. How can you handle, or this is a nice question, handle or balance your dancing while studying? How can you manage your time? So are you still studying? Yes, of course, of course. So how do you manage to do I mean, you're in the Philippines right now. Yes, yes. Don't you have like school? I, mean, I do. <laughs> projects to make? Uh, I'm right now doing online school. So, um, like, when I have free time right now, like, on this ship in the Philippines, after this, I'm probably going to go back where I'm staying and, and do as much school as I can. Oh, what, do, are you planning to go to college? Eventually? Yes, of course. So, what are you yes. planning to take? Um, I w- I'm hoping to, like, major in performing arts, of, oh, course. Yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. I, I thought you were going to take, like, culinary arts and stuff like that. <laughs> But yeah, performing arts is good. Yes, yes, yes. But I'm, I'm pretty um, proud of you of how you can handle those kind of pressure. It's, it's, it's been a challenge, definitely. But you know, I'm working as hard as I can, and and it's been, it's been working. And out, you're so. living your dream. Huh? Yes, yes, it's been amazing. Yeah. So we're back here on Letters and Music, and of course, kasi pa rin natin si Kenneth San Jose at grabe yung mga moves mo ina, bro. When he say grabe, what the seat? Narunu na siya magtagalog because of. Uh, Letters and music. That was some really smooth moves. I Thank have to you tell so you that. Much. I wish, I wish you could dance off with Kuya Cesar because Kuya Cesar is a, like a Michael Jackson in uh, Letters and Music. You you can look at his physique. And I see anybody it. physique. We have a subject you in school. Physique, chemistry, physique, dera. At siempre bago natin pagpatuloy ang ating kwentuhan, dahil mina tuwa because there someone is a. Uh, Watching us, happy viewing to Rocket Tupal of Edmond, Alberta, Canada. So, see, a lot of people are watching you wow. right now, like all over the world. And happy viewing to. Serious about the. I'm about to say it. Happy viewing to Grace from Arab. Miss you. Ako po ay nagbabasa lang dito. Nagbabasa lang po ako dito na nasa prompt. Anyways, dahil sa pag gusto, we we want to know, like uh, your. Uh, are it, are the songs that you just sang are they like available to download There's like yes really yes you can download them on iTunes they're like everywhere it's they're very popular songs mm-hmm. so how about your version my version yeah it's exclusive oh dang <laughs> exclusively here on letters and music and before before we continue our uh, promotion of things that you're gonna happen we have a challenge for you it's my mom yeah it's your mom so the the challenge here is uh you'll uh, what what's your first idea when you see these pictures my first idea yeah or like first thing that comes in your mind when is when was this i don't know <laughs> Honestly, this was years ago. But the first thing that I think of when I see this picture, at this event, yeah. at this, um, I think it was a uh, anniversary wedding or something, um, I performed, oh, really? I sang, 
And I, I, the, I got an iPad that day. You got an iPad yes, that day I got for an singing. I, iPad. I Dang. Got, <laughs> I was very happy about Here's that. Here's the next picture. What's the next picture? Oh, when was this? My face. <laughs> <laughs> this is about two years ago. This was a very, very, very fun video shoot that I did with my friends. Um, uh -huh. As you can see, we're riding on hoverboards. Hoverboards, yeah. And this was, at this time, hoverboards were so popular. I think I've seen this video. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Really? Yeah. Thank you. I remember that. Yes. Next, how about this one? I remember, every time I see this picture, <laughs> I think... When was this? This was probably about two years ago as well. I, I think um, my hair that day was flapping so much because <laughs> I didn't put product. Yeah. And so in the video, you'll see my hair is just... What like is this? What, what are we doing there? It was a concept video with um, my friend Sparkles. Sparkles. Uh -huh. And um, it was like a split screen uh -huh. and stuff. So that it was a very cool video. You've been like a lot of, you've done a lot of things, oh. even though you're <laughs> in a young age. <laughs> it's been amazing. That was, that's really nice. And hopefully when you come back here on Letters and Music, we'll have more of that, yes. of you performing in big yes. cities, big stadiums. And bef of course, if you, you're you going to continue that dream, where can we watch you? I heard you have like dance workshops yes. here in the Philippines. I have been, um, I've been, I'm here in the Philippines. Yeah, um, you are. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm teaching lots of workshops. Um, uh -huh. I yesterday actually, mm -hmm. I just um, went to Cebu. Oh, really? Yes, I went to Cebu and I taught a workshop there and did meet and greets, and and it was a great uh, experience. And I so I flew in the morning, taught the class, and flew back last night. So you know, and and um, uh, this Saturday I'm actually teaching with AC Bonifacio. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So it's gonna be a January twentieth. Blast. This and Saturday. And of course, we need to uh, be updated on your uh, happenings in your life. So please share your social media. Account. Yes, of course. Um, my Instagram is Ken at Ken San Jose. My Twitter is at Ken P San Jose. Um, my Facebook is Kenneth Paul San Jose, and my YouTube is Kenneth San Jose. Ayon ke Adaman. Thank you very much, Kenneth. Thank you so for much for dropping Paul. by here on Letters Thank and Music you. and making our. Afternoon of groovy, yes, and of course, Papa Lala ulit kami. Shempre, we've talked about this. The Galaxy Battles is just around the corner, so be sure to be in the biggest Dota 2 tournament Southeast Asia in 2018 from January 19, 21, 2018 at Philippine Arena in Bulacan for the schedule of free shuttle, free shuttle bus service for all ticket holders of Galaxy Battles 2018 and other concerns, just log on to their official website, www.galaxybattlesmajor.com and Facebook fan page, fan page, and Facebook fan page, Galaxy Battles. Hashtag Fallout Gaming, hashtag Purpose to Win. Galaxy Battles, see you there. Thank you very much again. Thank you so much. Because, uh, you know, it's been an honor. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. The Hopefully when mine. you visit Philippines again, you'll visit Letters and Music. Yes, very soon. And if you have, like, anything, like music videos, we can show it here. Thank on you so Radio. much. No, I thank you. It. And of course, thank you sa ating mga Letters and Music. Pero dapat yung tandaan, lagi dapat kayo updated sa mga happenings dito sa Letters and Music. Just log on to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Letters and Music. And also, you can send us an email, Letters and Music 25 at gmail.com. Mapapunoy din ang mga past segments at episodes ng Letters and Music sa aming YouTube channel sa youtube.com slash Letters and Music. At mapapunoy din kami at ipapang program sa 25 via live streaming. Just log on to eaglebroadcasting.net slash net 25 TV. And of course, eto na, dumating na ang takdang oras. Meron lang tayong dalawang minuto bago mag-alas dos. Kaya naman mag-apapaalam na kami. Sana... I hope you've enjoyed here your guessing yes. letters and music. Yes. And of course, everybody, your fans, hopefully they enjoyed your small but uh, meaningful interview with us. And hopefully, magkasama-sama pa tayo sa mga susunod na araw. Pero kailangan mo namin kibitinin. Kaya papaalam mo na kami. Ako si Ayan Dano and I am one with 25. Kenneth San Jose on Letters and Music. <laughs>